only win a hot drop, this has to be it. I mean, that would be incredible. Heroic did it in two. Can Sonics do it in one? It's match number 16 of Weekly Survival. One spot left for the weekly finals. Who's going to take it? Casters, over to you. One game, one chance. That's all that remains here for the weekly survival course presented by Alienware and Toomey. This is it, Toby. The final plane mm -hmm. before the weekly finals. 16 teams, one spot. And you know what? I like this plane. It's a fair, decent plane. But I do feel like more often than not, when we get these really fair and really decent planes, they tend to be followed by brutal circles. And if today's game is anything to go by, so now I feel like brutal circles is all it's been throughout the entire day. Yeah. So, uh, so hopefully for these 16 trying to find final spot, let, 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 let's give it a fair playing field, shall we? Yeah, back over to Aaron Kell as well. I think Miramar, the two games that we had off it, probably threw up the, the craziest of the circles. Mm. Aaron Gull itself has also had some pretty interesting ones too. I'd like to maybe finish off with, a, with another one. Why not? Of course, we are looking at Sonics on the right hand side of the screen. They are our new team that has made it into the lobby. They have waited all this time. Match number 16. They get one chance, one shot. Uh, it does mean we don't expect them to go to Pachinki. And of course, that is where they have avoided. Triple A are there, and Triple A will get Pachinki to themselves. Sonics will go somewhere Maybe. else. I was going to say, are they hot dropping shelter? That is, uh, it's been a while <laughs> since I've seen that one. They are hopping up towards the northeast, of course, with the plane going diagonal down towards the southeast. Uh, not a lot of teams will be headed in that direction. But having said that, there are still a few making it over here. It seems like they will be able to fly on forward, but they're getting shot at already. And I'm seeing game home players in vehicles. This is suboptimal playing grounds right from the get-go back move. Those turn around, look, their best read right now is seeing that there's only one from Game Home in that compound, and they go take it for you. In the meantime, a team that didn't okay. hesitate at all to make a move on forward. <laughs> Just go <laughs> to the end of Rose 36, full speed ahead. Gustav runs on against Ralan over by Indigo. They're still two up on alive, so they could potentially still do damage to them. Gustav has fallen down, AT is down there to get a bit of a revenge going. But they have taken casualties already. That is the slowest run over I have seen in a very long time. <laughs> It was like slow motion. Uh, unfortunately for Gustav, he didn't get run over technically. He got rammed into the sun. He got sent packing, flying. Phase, they clean up, they get the kills, but they do lose a player for it. It's not ideal, but what can you really ask him? Both more teams still alive and kicking, trying to see if they can fight their way on through with the final ticket, of course, with the weekly finals being the victory of this game. And Nate's everything being put to use as. Uh, Navi try to make an aggressive play towards Petricol. They know the plane in the back side of this combat is going to leave them exposed. You can see it right here. Attack all around as soon as they're on the back side of that building will start shooting at them. Example wants to throw in this flash and then oh. make his way in. Checks the right hand side. Alia had a little bit of an angle. Glooms, speaking of angles, gets the knock onto Mings. Couple of fights all happening at once, especially over towards the west. You can see up to the northwest as well. Sonics, Triple A still close by to each other, but it's Perro Navi. Example gets eight left. That's a big kill. Of course, Perro did not have all their players intact. Now it's only Mill that's left. They had an amazing day, and honestly, they've been a fascinating team to watch throughout the weekly survival pero but unfortunately it's looking like their time is done here it's almost as if the game knew with so many people jumping in that direction early on we wanted the game to end up by that north side compound at least that's what it looks like right now milk trying to hold off one piece of three fights the first one ain't gonna get more of it though now the rest has to be commenced to both of them make that navi well they have a rotation to make it just about 30 seconds in the meantime a fight's gonna happen here mimus looking in one direction but they have a tackle around just on the other side in the meantime here GX. What is this? Ooh, sneaky peeky, sneaky the slow peeky, walk. Making his way on forward. Unfortunately, does the video utility and now Burry Ram from above spots him. God, me out. Just tagging <laughs> the feet. Oh, AAP. Unique. Dante gets knocked down. Faultlessly was already eliminated as well prior to that. AAP doing well. Fates down. Oh, wow. So is Elgin Bots, though. Mutual destruction between those two teams. Elgin Bots gets eliminated by Zest. Unique, though, also somewhat down for the count here. They're out of play as CJ. Yeah. Though, the last one alive for AAP for Unique. They've also only got the one player left. For Sonics, they've been so defensive this game, Topi. They have been hugging this blue. They're not wanting to go into the circle at all. 21 minutes. It's time to move forward. It's time to take some fights. Well, where, where are we going? Playing passive as we maintain four on their feet for the entire thing so far. Here comes the drive-by. 
Cesar with the double from the car. Three-man vehicle pull up and they manage to stay alive with two. Having said that, they are taking casualties by the second. And everyone else here trying to force fights on the southern side of the circle while only a few manage to roam the lands of the north side. This south has been a ticket. Melbourne seals the deal for Archangel. Out they go in 10. Nine teams left, 28 alive for our final match of the weekly survival week one. Still a lot of teams that have got four players alive. Bowdam, Buram, Mad Clan as well, and Sonics, all with four up. Everyone else three or less. Sonics like not the best position, if I might add. New Happy have only got the three players, but they can gatekeep Sonics out of this position. Then you've got Triple A just to the south of them as well. This position for GX, by the way, that they crashed. Yeah, it wasn't even inside of the circle, so. I'm not sure exactly what the plan was in the end. SSR, the only one that's left, throws out a couple of smokes. He'll die to Buram or maybe Baonam. But Baonam's got the only compound in the circle, Toby. And, and they are a very proficient team at fighting late game with four players up. I'd look to them to maybe win from here. Yeah, wouldn't expect to see anyone try and crash that compound until they absolutely have to. The bounce of that nade thought it was going to maybe explode earlier. It could easily have been a double knock. Not going to happen, though. Examiner in the meantime does manage to do damage uphill. This is playing out perfectly. For Sonics they don't have a lot of space to maneuver, but if damage can be done to the teams that are holding them outside the circle right now, this could really, really work out for them. Two down from attack all around. In the meantime, New Heavy, I think Sonics know they are their first or at least immediate threat here on the north side of the circle. Yeah, and that circle is now the compound's out of it. So Bowdam yep. United need to push out of it, and everything I said before, 30 seconds ago, is no longer warranted. Mad Clan, decent position up north. They can push into the circle, onto Sonics and or New Happy, depending on what happens. Buram, Bowdam, they'll come in from the eastern side, but it's out west where we've got the majority of these Ooh. teams. Jay is through the smoke onto example shots back the other way. Needs to be careful. Nice. Still three first aid kits. He can go for it. And as you mentioned, Throw. the nades. He had seven in that earlier Throw. Miramar match. He's got five now here on Aaron Girl. Throw them down onto Na'Vi so and Ender. Their fate right now. Well, this is what I was waiting for. The team to have the furthest to transition will be Buram, and here they come. They know a Deucey is down here somewhere. He's inside the circle, too. He's gonna be welcomed by a full man Buram. Pull up the Natus there. He's actually gonna do damage to himself. Subconvenient <laughs> to say at the very least. And now the Deucey jumping around as best as he can. He's gonna molly himself as well. This is going from bad to worse as a Deucey does everything he can to take himself out. Unfortunately, that's gonna be the case. Unique for the Nate. Good spot. APAC might be able to find yet another team into the weekly finals here. They've got a lot of teams alive right now. Triple A, Buram, Baonam, United all still up. Seven kills, six of which from Zest as they start to push out. They've got Mad Clan though pushing in above them up to the north. 24 minutes has now elapsed. Only seven teams remain. The Nades, they are bouncing over Na'Vi's heads. Looking for the revival to Alia. Jay has had five. He's now down to one remaining. Oh. This one is very good! Big nade from Jayers and Triple A send Na'Vi packing in seventh. Six teams left. That's why you have eight nades, so you can throw the first four and miss and hit with the fifth. <laughs> I like it. And Na'Vi knew that once they allow for Burrow Ram to come... If they had it pushed on to, to Sonics, then they give up this Western control. Obviously, Jayers is only the there solo. They get rid of him. Very quick, very clean, very Smart. sharp as well. And they are going to be able to control this circle. <gasps> Mad Clan, though, what? do not want to get into a scrap with what? Sonics. They're going to send it. Where are you going? back to our last game of Eren Girl, And they did something very similar. It did get them into third place. In fact, they're going a little bit further. Scouting, Where learning from the Book of Phase. But David gets locked out. So does Ian as well. That's it. Yard from New Happy. What? Edie as well what? from Buram. Mad Clan looking quite mad at the moment. What is going on? What? What? Uh, I, I, okay, moving on. Four teams left, one of which is a solo player. There's an absolute massive chance that Sonics can pull it out. One oh. game, one go. It is going their way at the moment, especially with Baonam United and Buram fighting each other. If they wound each other, if they're down to only two or three players remaining, it makes life so easy for Sonics. There's a very happy man right now in Rem somewhere out there who could be smiling in a couple of minutes. 10 kills though for Buram. Do not count them out. Look at that heart rate monitor. All in Batman. the red. Down Sonic's on the move. The man go. should go down. They get the kill on towards him as well. Just three teams left alive now. Buram knows exactly where the guys from Sonic's are. How does Baonan's last two players engage on this though? And should it come to a 4v4, who will hit 
their shot. Sonics have just landed on, I think, 25 crates worth of utility ammo and everything else. So they should be probably oh. looted coming into this final <laughs> fight. They had one game and they get themselves one chance no here way. to make it on through. It would oh, be absolutely Nordra. insane, but that's the first one. Look at this. Eight kills already for Nuatra. Potentially a ninth to follow. Should be able to get the flush on Shrimsy. Uh, it's a little bit of like APAC versus NA at the moment. Shrimsy deep inside of that smoke, like you said, on those supply crates. They get a lot of that utility now banked up. Mine need to hit these shots, need to get a knock, need that pressure onto Buriram. Right now, they're the only team with four players currently standing. Win. Going for the revival to Shrimsy, that will be successful. But Buriram need to make a move and they need to make a decision. Everyone. Do they finish off the rest of Boundam United or do they go to Sonics? Everyone has to make a move at this point, And I feel like Sonics are in the better position, honestly. Right now, Baonan kind of focused down the hill towards Buriram. Buriram have their vehicles parked in a way that they can't really utilize the whole lot to move away from there. You can see the tires are being popped. They don't want to allow for Sonics to go take center position with the vehicle port. But they do have players on the edge of the circle. We're talking a tree. Two trees to sit behind. Tangleton gets Tangleton's knocked back on down. Eight kills for Noatra. Continues to do damage, but every single time they get a knock on Sonics, Baonan is up the hillside doing damage to Burram, forcing them to stay behind the ridge line. And all of these smokes that Sonics have now expended, they may not have many pushing forward after this. They're not inside of this circle. No and that blue is going to start moving oh. soon as well. Oh. Baonam United, oh. if they head over to oh. Sonics, they could really crash the party. Dr. Loji oh, just getting a position at the tree with the Darcia. Oh, I thought he was gonna go further than that for a second, like a real scared. Let's see Noatra. 60 bullets in the chamber in total. And remember, if this comes to a close quarter fight, all the damage they're doing to helmets to vest right now on towards Sonics could be the difference maker. Oh. And whether they get this one or not. Busted vest for H win. No smokes available as well. No helmet for God Meow. Everyone here wounded to say the very least. And there are still two bound on players alive on the hilltop. Oh. H wins down shots from God Meow. Biram have continued to find knock after knock onto the Sonics, and they have not been able to find one yet the other way. That's what Sonics have been waiting for to land a knock, to get it down to that three versus four, then make that run over the cross towards the other side of the circle. Tickleton's low. Baonam shooting at both teams from the north side. Buriram looking to really punish them here. Sonics, that blue. It is now enveloping their position. They've lost their cover as well. They've lost H-Win. They are all hiding behind the tree. Buriram's just lost Nodra though. Kanaxi's low. My lord, again, every time they get something going, there's a team up the hillside doing damage. Now, finally, Baonan looking the other way as well. Shrimsy wants to get rid of one, and now the committed push is happening. They know that there are players from Fury and forced down the hillside. Look at this small rock. That's all they have to play. No one's within the vicinity of being able to utilize any sort of utility. Oh, no. Be out those fight one. Edie does go down the other side. Two players alive for Fury Ram. One alive for Sonics. It's a 1v1v2. Mime. Spots Mime, tags Mime. up, one HP! Oh! Baonam's still Does gonna play it! Dr. Loji up north, oh, he's not out of it! Sonics are out in third, that's it! Buriram or Baonam, it is Buriram United! Oh! 17 kill win in the final game of the weekly survival! They survived and they will play on the weekend! We saw them sit on the east going, how in the world are they gonna make it through? They sat there, they peeked, they tried to put the dagger in and see if they could find a bit of a gap and look and see Sonic's faces. They know, they know they had a chance there, but Buriram stopped them. Buriram said no, and they take the final spot for the weekly finals. They usually say there's the cast a curse. Well, in this case, it's the analyst blessing of chunks. He flamed APAC like I asked him to do, and he has gotten another result. APAC will get a second <laughs> team in the weekly, in the weekly finals on the weekend. Toby, what a match! Uh, I'm going to let you throw it out. Close us out That's here from the uh, the casters, Toby, and if, throw it back to the desk. If there's a way to finish off a weekly survival, that's it right there. Solid game for Buriram. Tons of kills coming the way. You can see the joy. Heart rates at 2 billion. No doubt about it. They're happy. They're through. Let's throw it back to the desk and see what they have to say after that one. A massive thank you for casting today's games. Toby and Xenox, an absolutely fantastic job.